All right, what's up guys? My name is Steven and today we're going to be comparing Fox River versus Smart Wolf. All right, we got the glasses because I'm certified blind. Now, first things first, something that I support highly is supporting our troops. So if you want, go to foxsocks.com, that's F-O-X, sox.com you can buy a soldier's wish list socks for them and it will directly ship to the soldiers so if you like go to foxsocks.com that's a tongue twister let's get into this video fox river socks my one con not as much wool which doesn't help with odor so these ones will stink a little bit more than what smart wool will because they have less merino 42% nylon, 28% merino, 28% acrylic, and for all you math nerds, you know that we're missing 2%, and that last 2% is nylon for stretchiness, okay? Men's, 9.5 to 11.5. Women's, 10.5 to 12.5. You'll fit a size large. These are a little bit thicker than your normal socks, so if you like thin socks, these ones might not be for you. On their packaging right here, it says, you are fit, so I'm not fit, I'm fat. Um... Our ultimate response fit system provides a per personalized premium fit featuring memory knit construction that won't sag or loosen over time. Plus an arc brace provides support during your most strenuous activities. So that is you are fit. All right, so for these socks, the base camp ankle socks on Amazon for a large can run you $16.57, which I can link down below if you guys want to go and check out. I believe that they're kind of directly taking Smart Wool's design kind of for the socks with the back little lip here. On the bottom of these soles, it's a little bit thicker than the top and the top has a little bit more perforated to let some of the moisture out. One problem I do see with these socks, they're a little bit long, so I recommend um, if you're going to be getting these, try a size medium instead of a large on these pair of socks because the heel is a little bit farther back than what it's supposed to be for my feet. If you got long, lanky feet, that might be for you. But I don't. I got short, stubby feet, size 10 life. Going on to Smart Wool, the Outdoor Advanced. The contents, 57% wool, which is already a shit ton better than Fox River. So, it's going to be better at odor resistance. It's going to be better at wicking moisture. And it's going to keep your feet in that little perfect medium of heat and cool. So for smart wool, it is 57% wool, 42% nylon, and 1% elastane. What that's going to do is going to keep it snug around your foot and is needed because if you got 100% wool socks, it's not going to be a snug fit. It's going to get a little bit loose. Smart wool is going to be more expensive than Fox River. One, because these socks actually have more wool content and that's pretty expensive. If you go out and try to find a wool shirt kind of like this one, which you can Watch out for the next video. I'll do a little review on this sheep run um, shirt that I got off of Amazon. So let's kind of unpackage these a little bit. Smart Wool does have a pretty cool system where all you have to do, pull up on this tab, 100% satisfaction guarantee. Same thing with these socks. At the back, they're a lot more cushioned for your heels and easy tugability. So, the higher the wool content, the better the moisture wicking and odor resistance is going to be. So if you're going to be going on a long hike, I recommend getting the Smart Wool over Fox River. If you are going to be on a short hike and you like thicker socks, I recommend going with Fox River and you don't care about the odor resistance quality. Um, if you are more inclined on getting the, what you call it? If you're more inclined on getting a thicker sock, I actually recommend going with the Smart Wool walking socks. If they have different colors for it, I recommend getting those because black can still produce heat. As if you're wearing shorts and you're wearing black, the sun is going to hit the black socks and it's going to produce more sweat because it, black is a better conductor. Conductor? A better... Black is better at conducting heat. So if you've got a black roof on your car, that car is going to be hotter than a car roof that has yellow or a lighter color because the sun, yes, it can produce 
rays, and those rays can shoot straight into the black socks. As for a yellow or black white sock, it will kind of reflect some off into another direction, which will keep you cooler. Science! I'm not that smart. If I'm wrong, go and post that in the comments below. The sizing for Fox River and Smart Wool are pretty much the same. So, 9.5 to no, sorry, 9 to 11 and a half for men and for women it is going to be 10 to 12 and a half. Exactly the same for Fox River. So if you're going to be looking at both socks and you want to try, you can kind of get the same size of both socks and you don't have to worry about it. So in all honesty, I would recommend trying both. I have both of the links in the description below if you want to check them out. Um, so what socks do I recommend? It honestly is going to depend on your needs. So if you're going to go on a short hike and you like thicker socks, Fox River is going to be your way to go. Yes, I recommend taking them off and airing them out at night because they're going to be a little bit stinkier than what the wool socks are going to be. Sorry, not wool socks, the smart wool socks. So if you're going to go on a longer hike, the more wool content, the better it is going to be at moisture wicking and odor resistance, which is going to be really good for you stinky mofos that don't like to shower or put deodorant on. So if you're a diehard Dickie Socks fan, then go and hit that thumbs down. If you like wool socks, hit that thumbs up. If you like this review, go and hit that subscribe button and that bell notification to know when I post a new video. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.